good afternoon to all of you let us see today we are discussing about the practicals that is the op amp as inverting and non inverting amplifier let us see what is mean by the op amp op amp is nothing but the operational amplifier means you are giving the signal to the operational amplifier and that signal will be the amplified let us see there are two types of the operational amplifier we are discussing in that lecture inverting and non inverting but before that in that practical i am explaining the general symbol of the op amp let us see it is the negative and it is the positive negative one is called as the inverting means whenever we are giving the input to the negative terminal that is called as inverting operational amplifier whenever we are giving the input signal to positive terminal then it is the non inverting amplifier but in that we require the ic741 let us say ic741 is the general pin diagram means it is the 8 pin ic 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay but let us see each pin has its own function pin number 1 it is a null offset null and pin number 5 it is the also the offset null but pin number 2 let us see this is the ic you are able to see this is the ic 741 and in that ic total 8 terminals 1 2 3 4 and other side 4 means total 8 terminals but let us see whenever in that ic there is a small notch is there means here is a notch it is the notch and in that notch there is a one dot is there means what it indicates it indicates the pin number 1 that is pin number 2 3 4 5 and 5 6 7 8 but what is mean by the ic741 why they are given the name 741 what it indicates let us see what is mean by the 741 in that ic it is the seven functional pins means in that ic seven pins are the functional pins four pins are capable to taking the input means out of that eight pins four pins are capable to take the inputs and one pin is the output pin means 741 that is called as the ic 741 that is the ic okay next thing is that we require the breadboard in that breadboard we place the ic anywhere means we are taking place the ic anywhere then on that ic we are able to give the input terminals what is the input terminals we have the battery means we are supplying the voltage to the input terminals whenever we are discussing the inverting amplifier then we are giving the signal to the inverting terminals means like that for example just see i am explaining the inverting amplifier before that again one instrument is required that is called as a multimeter okay this is the multimeter how we are measuring the voltage means whenever we are set up the plus minus 50 volt supply to the power supply okay means we just check the 15 volt supply after that we are measuring the voltage that's why that device i am making the on place that knob on the 20 volts once you fix then just see the scenario means i am once again explaining the the diagram and proper connection then i am giving the input and measuring the output let us see the circuit diagram of the inverting amplifier in that inverting amplifier let us see this is the input means we are giving the input at the hold input voltage at no inverting terminals that is the negative terminal and it is the input resistance that it indicates ri then it is the feedback resistance that is the rf and it is connected to the output that's called as a feedback means whatever the output they are again connected to the input of the inverting terminals that's called as a feedback resistor here i am using the feedback resistor of the 100 kilo ohm and here i am using the input resistance of the 10 kilo ohm then 
theoretically calculations means formula of the inverting amplifier to calculate the gain theoretically that is A is equals to minus RF by RI. RF is nothing but the feedback resistor that's why negative sign and it is the 100 kilo ohm and my RI is a 10 kilo ohm it is kilo kilo ohm cancel 10 10 means it is my minus 10 what is the that is the gain gain has the no in no units gain la kutlahi unit naste okay let us see that one is a theory let us see as for your circuit diagram it is the three resistance okay means it is the power supply that wire came from the input supply and it is given to the pin number 2 as per our discussion, it is connected to the pin number 2. Pin number 2 is called as a inverting. And it is the feedback registers. It is connected to the output terminals as per our discussion. And pin number 3, that is called as a non-inverting. It is connected to the ground. Means it is the ground that is a black wire. And there are two terminals, V6, V4 and V6. For example, it is the connected to the ground terminals it is a v6 and it is the v4 v4 means it is the power supply voltages that is the plus minus 50 volt as per our discussion it is the connected and that two wires from the pin number six output we are measuring the output on the multimeters okay let us see let us see i am varying the input means i am applying the some input voltage and measuring the output voltage in the inverting amplifier we are giving the for example we are giving the sinusoidal wave then it is the inverted by the 180 degree that is out of phase but whenever we are giving the input terminals it input voltage just i am applying the input voltage for example 0.2 voltage then my output is negative why negative it is the out of phase its phase is changed that's why my negative sign is coming whenever i am applying 0.2 voltage then my output voltage is 2.19 similarly i am applying the point increasing 0.7 then my output voltage will be the 7.434 just like that then again i am applying the input voltage that is the 0.8 and my output voltage will be the 8.37 means I am applying very small amount of the input voltage then I am giving the large amount of the output voltage why because we are performing the operational amplifier means our signal will be the amplified how much amplified means it is a very large amount of the amplified means see the difference between the 0.8 and 8.8 .8. One thing means that is the things only the negative sign is coming. Why? Because it is the inverted amplifier, its phase is changing. Okay, let us see. Then I am putting the graph. I am calculating the graph of the inverting amplifier. As per our discussion, I am applying the input voltage and I am giving the negative reading. Then that's why my graph in the first quadrant. First quadrant Y, normally our graph will be like that. Means it is the X axis, it is the Y axis. But here negative, that's why your Y coordinate is must be the negative. Then as per the voltage is increasing, then our output voltage also the increasing. Then take the reading and make the slope. Slope, slope is nothing but the Y2 minus Y1 and X2 minus X1. Y2 means in the Y coordinates, your output voltage, V out is there. And X2, there is a, take the two readings from here, X1 and X2. And difference between the X2 minus X1 in the X coordinate, V input. Means that is the gain. That is the graphical gain. And whenever the RF divided by RI, it is the theoretical gain. Then I am calculating the V input and I am get, getting the sum output. That is the practical gain means in our result theoretical gain practical gain graphical gain it is the all are nearly equal, matched that is the things of the inverting amplifier let us see here second experiment is that operational amplifier as non-inverting let us see what is the difference between the non-inverting and inverting 
here i am applying the input voltage to the non inverting terminal that is called as a plus then negative terminal is a grounded here gnd means grounded and output is feedback to the input of the inverting that is the feedback resistance rf here also i am using the feedback resistance of the 100 kilo ohm here input resistance of the 10 kilo ohm let us see in the non inverting amplifier your input we are giving then output also same but only difference is that output amplitude phase will be the increased means amplification of the signal takes place means here not changing our phase only the amplification of that signal but here we are calculating the theoretical gain then that formula is 1 plus rf divided by ri we know that 1 plus rf value is 100k then ri is 10k k kilo ohm kilo ohm cancel that is 10 means overall is 11 in the inverting 10 is there gain has a no units why no units because kilo ohm kilo ohm get cancelled that's why it has a no units then we are calculating the practical gain let us see practical gain phi out divided by phi input but i am placing that circuit arranging that circuit as per our circuit diagram in the breadboard using the ic741 and what is the ic741 we know that let us see here feedback resistance it is applied to the pin number 2 and pin number 2 is called as inverting then i am applying input voltage to the pin number 3 pin number 3 is called as a non inverting that's why i am applying the input voltage to the pin number 3 again your pin number the inverting terminal will be the grounded through that registers means inverting terminal has two register one feedback register and one is the input register that register will be the grounded and i am taking the output from the pin number 6 okay let us see as per our discussion we are just applying the input voltage and measuring the output voltage but in the inverting there is a negative voltage is there output but in non-inverting there is no chance of the negative no phase changes let us see i am applying input voltage that is the 0.4 and my output will be the 5.57 means what much uh, that much amount of the output will be the increased or changed then i am applying the 0.6 then my output will be the 7 point something then i am applying the point 1.0 then 11 point something means let us see one one hold then my output will be the near about 11 hold and from that we are plot the graph like that means here is the graph is in the second quadrant that is the plus means input value as plus output values are plus then we take the slope slope is nothing but the y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is the our gain it is a uh, graphical gain it is the theoretical gain and whenever we are applying the input and we are giving the some output then phi out divided by phi in means we are taking the 10 readings that addition of 10 readings divided by 10 means it is the mean we are nearly about the we are getting nearly about the 11 means that is the gain input gain means a theoretical reading theoretical 11 practical nearly about 11 and graphical also the 11 that is the things in the all the experiment we are discussed about the op amp in the op amps we are using the multimeter we are using the ic741 we are using the breed board we are using the two power supplies one is a fixed that is plus minus 15 volt and that is the things just we are applying the input voltage and measuring the output voltage 